Hello, welcome to the Module 2 Overview video. This video provides a broad overview of Module 2. Module 2, Computer and IT Basics. This module highlights the importance of understanding the basics of computers and information systems. It is important in your upcoming careers to have a very elementary understanding of computers and information systems. Module 2 discusses computer basics. Computer basics is basically understanding the terminology that is used with a computer and to understand what is a computer and how a computer operates. Computers are machines that perform tasks or programs. Central processing, processing unit is a very key component of the computer. This is the part of the computer that translates instructions and or performs calculations. This is considered the brain of the computer. Hardware devices are keyboards, monitor, mouse, printers. This allows communication between the computer. Types of computers. There's the supercomputers and the personal computers. Personal computers are considered de desktop laptops, and tablet PCs, while well, supercomputers are used at governmental facilities and or private facilities. Supercomputers can use a lot of data and manipulate the data very quickly. Operating system is a collection of software that manages the computer hardware resources and provides common services for a computer program. Operating systems are found in almost all computers. This is an illustration of the worldwide operating system market share. As you can see, the most popular, popular operating system is Windows 7. And then follows Win Windows XP. Windows 8 only has 7.41%, but remember this is worldwide. Then there's the, op the OS X, which is 3.42%. An information system. An information system is an integrated set of components which collects, stores, and processes data to deliver information knowledge and digital products. Almost all businesses use information systems. Five components of the information system. These are the five components listed below of a computer-based information system. First, you must have the hardware, the physical components, such as computers, printers, monitors. 2. Software. This forces the hardware to do something, such as operating system. 3. Data. The information that are manipulated by the software. 4. Procedures or policies. These are steps to undertake goals. 5. The people. The people are considered users, developers. Communication networks also is also important in the five components. Communication networks is somewhat considered to be part of the hardware and the five components of the information system. This is the system development life cycle, which you first have initial idea, which then you have will conduct a feasibility study, then the requirements analysis to determine what is required, then the system analysis to determine what type of system is needed to be used, and then the specification what all needs to be used. Then you have the system design. Then you have the development stage, the testing stage, and then after the testing stage is the implementation stage. And then after you implement, you will have to conduct some maintenance. And then after maintenance, a review of the process. This is an example or an image of the system development life cycle. This was module two. It is important to understand the computer basics and IT basics. We discussed in Module 2 computer terminology, the information system, the five components of information system, and the system development life cycle. Thank you for watching.